technology information. There's your complex, Bamani, right there. Yeah, How's your Arabic? Is that good? <laughs> yeah, you need a complex like this. Yo, it's a big difference of morning business traffic driving to Casablanca. But that's one of the things I really just admire. Just uh, anywhere you go and where just it's just clean. Mm -hmm. Because you know I've been to so many filthy places, especially just all along West Africa. And then I'm saying this is just the same content. So the people in West Africa, they have a problem then. And then the people in East Africa and the people in Southern in Africa. North Africa got a different attitude. So yeah, that's only so the only part of Africa I see this with a different attitude, just North Africa. Because how, how could this look like this? Like that. That's what we're saying. That's crazy. So that's the you see like two different worlds. Yeah. And uh, when you think about the countries that we go to, they're all filled with all kind of diamonds, uh, this this natural resource, that natural resources. But then at the end of the day, you have to make the best deal on the um, on the world stage. But I, I just feel like the countries uh, in North Africa just has a better flow of this this government system and a better this game plan. He's cleaning. He's picking up crash. And there's not even trash. <laughs> and uh, wherever you go in the world, the wherever you go in the world, uh, everyone have uh, prisoners and criminals. But there they have, are. Have them out and put Sweet them to work. Cleaners. These are prisoners. See them? No, no, these are professionals. Okay. But I'm saying, even if you don't want to do it the professional level like they're doing, have the criminals do it. And this, you know, you have the sheriff with mm -hmm. the guns ready if they start running. <laughs> and, and, and make them clean up everything. Just like you know, Providence Island was disgusting. I'm like, Kala, how, how dare you? They do like, it in Delaware. Yeah, and same thing where I'm in they Georgia. They do in Delaware, the, they, the lower level they criminals. They do yeah, they put clean, them to work. They have a whole bus. There's guard <laughs> on one side, guard on the other side, and they're out they're there clean up, yeah. cleaning yeah. the street. It's no excuse. Yeah, absolutely. So, family, what we're showing you is this night. Yeah, but we're not saying that, uh, trying to just do a direct press, but what we're saying is that, uh, Let's get all the excuses and, and find solutions. Yeah. But I just feel like the governments in those other parts of Africa talk about, especially West Africa, is just. Yeah. I mean, the corruption is just terrible. But uh, you know, you have you have a king there. You have a, you know, they have a different government system that's in North mayor, Africa. That's why the mayor didn't show up the other night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that funny, you have a looking like that. You know? and, and then the Minister yeah. of Tourism, that's who I wanted to get at. Yes. Like, like, dude, how yeah. can you have us come to Providence Island, the you know, 200 year uh, uh, reconnection like, of, our, say... of our ancestors, and you got trash. I've seen more trash on that, in that what? area than I've seen almost everywhere else along uh, the whole country. And all they could say is washing down river. Well, and the first time it washed down river, you know you got a problem, right? All he has excuses. If it's, if it's not the Civil War, it's this. Coca Cola. So <laughs> I'm at a point, family, where we just have to start making excuses and get busy. Okay, so the drinkers so of the world. This is the beauty of yeah. Casablanca. City, yeah. And once a guy get in, the, um, he's also going to take us to the mosque where we, we're going to be able to spend Bank some of time Africa. in there. LG. So yes, family, we are in Africa. This is North Africa, Morocco. And it is one of the top five in everything, in economy, tourism, business, investment, development, cleanliness, tourism, you name it. They have they're, they're, they're raised the bar. Yeah, and that's another thing too, uh, Ronnie. You notice uh, that uh, you know from the airport to wherever you go, they have uh, you know they have people patrolling and people keeping an eye out. Because the scariest thing is when we was in the Liberia airport, is it, you know if, if one of them crazy people just attack you, you know you don't have nobody to look out for you. Because so, you know, I got a bunch of them cutting the line and they're being very aggressive. I told my son it's easy, it's not worth them just mobbing us. Because there's no security personnel that we can, you know, that's gonna be around to intimidate them to where they, they stay in order. 
and uh, it's just it's just a breakdown of society where I get tired of the excuses and I'm like I'm not gonna put time into getting our people together to where we come there and we just spend ridiculous unnecessary money and uh, and we just and that's what we get bad bad food oh, bad goodness. air quality bad you know, environment so I told about the college and since the rest of them we're done um, I'm moving forward past all of them and they can do what they need to do. They, they can sell somebody else that dream. And as soon as I start telling and things like that, and other people, they, they start comparing other parts of America. Well, $12.93. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we're doing, family. We, we're not making any excuses. We're either going to build it or it's happening where we're just not. Yes. So we're just showing you a view. But that's, and then that's, let me show you over here. You see those prices? Look at that, what you have right here. You have, a, you have, a, you have professionals in the morning. That's why the place is clean. Uh, they focus on those things. So, I'm not letting nobody else in West Africa sell me no dream of why you know, those countries look raggedy. Mm -hmm. Either we're going to step our game up and compete, but, or we just won't show up in your country. Ghana is the only country in West Africa where it's just, for me it's just like that I would actually deal with. And they're always trying to just, it's like they just keep on raising the bar and keep on just you know, stepping things up, you know. And uh, this is a view family. One of the things you see is order. And so we've been able to experience two different worlds, the world of order in a world of this chaos. A world of civilization and uncivilized energy. An airport is somewhere where you go and it should have some level of order. And no one can tell us anything because we experience what we experienced. So yes, family, what I'm talking about is our Morocco and Liberia journey of a lifetime. And this has opened up our eyes to just the possibilities and opened up our eyes to what we want and don't want. <coughs> and we're just cruising through Casablanca and just showing you the city and most important, just showing you a view of the streets and where you don't see open sewers and trash everywhere. And I'm not trashing the folks in, in West Africa, I'm just saying, if we know that there's better, we can you know, strive towards that. It's a family. The journey continues, and just uh, keep enjoying your sightseeing view of Casablanca. And since this is our introduction, you know, it may just encourage us to visit and explore more of Morocco. Policeman, direct the traffic. Yeah, and another thing too, you see everybody is dressed professional, like professional business people. You know, the attitude and all those things, and even more important, I think the biggest thing is this leadership. You know, mm -hmm. you get people who can lead and represent and take care of their people. Because you know, it's, you know every, a lot of people are employed, and some, a lot of people have yeah, decent positions. But the level of professionalism, when you walk into the hotel, when you walk in the airport, uh, whether people like you or not, they address you, and you know, because you're a guest, you're, you know, you're a tourist, which is you know, important, you know. Keep your personal feelings to yourself. I'm here to visit this, uh, be professional, show us love. Because we're spending our dollars and we're coming and show, you know, 